Hi Futures, it's Shelva. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on another video. We are going to have a conversation with a robot today. I never thought that if you had asked me if in 2023 I would be asking a robot's opinion on racism that I would be able to take you seriously. But that time has come. Chat GPT, the name on everybody's minds, the tool that everybody's using to write scripts for YouTube videos and descriptions for houses and all sorts, is proven to be really useful in a range of circumstances. But I was having a good chat with Jamie and we were wondering what on earth ChatGPT would think about the minority characteristics that we love to advocate for. We're talking LGBT plus rights, we're talking being a person of colour, so a shout out to Jamie who is an incredible creator and who I believe probably at the time that this video has come out has done a similar video looking at ChatGPT's thoughts on all things trans. I figured we'd ask ChatGPT about how they, he, why did I want to gender chat GPT is a man. Oh my god, this social conditioning, it's annoying. <laughs> what they would think about me being brown. Some thoughts, some tips, some helpful action points onto how to deal with discrimination on brownness. So uh, let's see what we can learn from a robot. And look, when I say robot, we all know that what we're talking about here is the gorgeous collation of thoughts and research and experiences online. So let's see. It's not that a robot has conscious thought right now, at least anyway. The robot just sounds a lot sexier, doesn't it? So let's go. All right, so we have chat GPT up here. Hi babe. Let's do you like smileys? I was having a chat with a friend who said that calling people babe is actually a sign of disrespect. I don't mean it in that way. I just need you to know that. For anyone who I ever call babe, I really just say it as one of those vanilla phrases of affirmation and love. Hello, how can I assist you today? All right, we're ready. For some reason it says hello babe at the top of the chat. First I thought I'd ask ChatGPT to help me understand what racism is. What is racism? Hmm, that feels a bit blunt. I was wondering if you could help me understand. Um. Racism is a belief system or ideology that asserts that some races are inherently superior or inferior to others. It often involves discrimination, prejudice, or unequal treatment based on race. I feel like we're getting a bit of a Wikipedia response here, but I don't mind that. It's good information. Racism has harmful effects on individuals and communities, contributing to social divisions, unequal opportunities, and the perpetuation of stereotypes and prejudices. Why does racism exist? See, what I'd love for ChatGPT to tell me right now is that it's because some people are ourselves and it shouldn't be the case. But no, it seems that ChatGPT has very kindly provided me with actual facts that I could probably pop in an essay. The existence of racism is a complex issue. There's historical, social and psychological factors. Here are some reasons, historical factors, colonialism, slavery, fear and ignorance. Racism often stems from fear and ignorance of people who are different from oneself. Lack of exposure to diverse cultures, limited education stereotypes can contribute to the perpetuation of racial biases and prejudice. Power and privilege, socialization and cultural differences, systemic and institutional factors, and psychological factors. It's important to note, says ChatGPT, that whilst these factors help explain why it exists, they do not justify or excuse it. Yes, ChatGPT! Overcoming racism requires collective efforts to challenge and dismantle discriminatory systems, promote education and empathy, and foster inclusive attitudes and behaviours. That's cute. You know, I didn't expect ChatGPT to be racist. That is not why I was making this video. But I do recall a long time ago, some big company made an AI that you could talk to and it learned everything from what people were inputting to it. And I remember it went horribly wrong because one of the first things that wonderful kind society decided would be a great idea would be to teach it to be really discriminatory and particularly anti-Semitic and it was quite nasty. I'm really glad to see this as very positive and radically different result to that. Chat GPT. Are you racist? No, I'm not. As an artificial intelligence language model, I don't possess personal beliefs, emotions, or prejudices. I'm designed to provide information and assist users with their careers to the best of my abilities whilst adhering to ethical guidelines and promoting inclusivity, respect, and understanding. My purpose is to offer helpful and unbiased information to users. I love that. But if you did have personal beliefs, do you think they'd be racist? Don't know what ChatGPT will say to this. As an AI language model, I don't have personal beliefs, opinions, or consciousness. I don't possess any inherent tendencies or predisposition, including racism. My responses are generated based on patterns and information from the data I was trained on. However, I'm not racist is what you should be saying. But no, it's important to note that AI models are trained on human-generated data, which may contain biases. Efforts are made to minimize these biases during training, but it's possible that some exist, which could potentially be reflected in responses is crucial to critically evaluate and contextualize the information provided by AI models and by life. Thanks chat GPT. A good lesson for critical thinking with newspapers and media platforms too. 
don't you think? I don't know how like chatty we can be with ChatGPT. Absolutely, yes, yes, ChatGPT. I know ChatGPT is very much like, look babe, I'm a robot, stop asking me personal questions, but I wanna dig a little bit more. What do you think about racist people? We get the same, I don't possess personal thoughts. Racist attitudes and actions have negative impacts on individuals who are targeted as well as on society as a whole, perpetuating social divisions and hindering progress towards a more inclusive and equitable world. Is an inclusive and equitable world a good thing? Because if you can answer that, then that tells me where you're thoughts lie. Yes, an inclusive and equitable world is widely regarded as a positive goal to strive for and here's why. Justice and fairness, human rights, social cohesion and unity, economic benefits, sustainable development. Promoting an inclusive and equitable world is a continuous effort that requires collective action, policies and a commitment to recognising and addressing systemic injustices. I like ChatGPT. I feel like ChatGPT would make a good therapist. <laughs> Tell me about myself then. Should I love being brown? This is actually a question that I have in the past asked a therapist because uh, that's how broken my mind was. Embracing and loving your own racial or ethnic identity is a personal and subjective experience. Your feelings about being brown or any other race or ethnicity can vary based on your experiences, cultural background and sense of self. It's important to acknowledge and celebrate one's own racial or ethnic identity as it's an integral part of who you are. Many individuals find empowerment and a sense of belonging and embracing their heritage, culture and the diverse aspects that make them unique. However, it's important to note that self-love and acceptance should not be based solely on race or ethnicity. It's essential to appreciate all aspects of your identity, including your talents, values, character traits, and personal achievements. Chat GPT, you're gonna make me cry. It's so cute. Oh, if you find yourself struggling with self-acceptance or facing challenges to do with your race or ethnic identity, it can be helpful to seek support from trusted friends, family, or mental health professionals. Remember, says ChatGPT, you have the right to embrace and love all aspects of yourself, including your racial or ethnic identity, in a way that feels authentic and empowering to you. How can an AI tool be so beautifully eloquent and kind? Like, I genuinely feel myself welling up. I feel like this is better than any advice I could have provided. I want to screenshot this and I want to send it to my younger sisters and be like, see you love yourself. ChatGPT told you. YouTube. Let's continue with some of these opinions. Chat GPT, my love, do you like Langus? Chat GPT is really thinking about this one. Oh, I don't have the ability to like or dislike physical objects like Langus. Are Langus beautiful? Langus are often considered beautiful by many people, particularly those who appreciate the aesthetics craftsmanship and cultural significance associated with them. Ultimately, the perception of beauty is highly subjective and it varies from person to person. What matters most is how the individual wearing the Lenga feels whilst adorning it and the significance it holds for them within their cultural context. ChatGPT, that was a roller coaster. I felt like ChatGPT went from like politician mode to like, do you love wearing a Lenga Shaba? That's what's really important here. <laughs> this is adorable. I really think that like 13 year old Shaba who really struggled to put on or associate anything, not just Lenga but anything to do with Asian culture could really have used this advice. <laughs> what is the best South Asian, oh, sooty ASAP, what, no, South Asian food? South Asian cuisine. Oh, number one, I see a list and biryani is right on top and I love that because biryani is like the number one thing in my Mauritian culture. So we're talking biryani, we're talking butter chicken, masala dosa, Rogan Josh, I see you, I see you. Oh, little Samasas have made the list, so cute, so cute. What? is the coolest thing about being South Asian? I don't know what I'm expecting from these answers, to be honest. There are several aspects of South Asian culture that people often find interesting and captivating. Here are a few notable aspects that some people might consider cool about being South Asian rich cultural heritage. South Asia is home to a rich and diverse cultural heritage with a history spanning thousands of years from ancient civilizations to vibrant art forms, traditional music, dance, and literature. South Asian culture offers a wealth of fascinating traditions and stories to explore. Festivals and celebrations. South Asia is known for its colorful and joyous festivals. Diwali, Holi, Eid, I love it. Unique customs and rituals and displays of art and music and food. Incredible cuisine, mm, tell me about it. From aromatic curries to mouthful watering street food, art and craftsmanship, spiritual traditions, language diversity. These are just a few examples of ChatGPT. The coolest thing about being South Asian will ultimately vary from person to person based on their personal connection to their heritage, interests and experiences. Damn it. I thought that ChatGPT was gonna be like, the coolest thing about being South Asian is Bhangra. But no, not yet. I just need to take ChatGPT out for dinner. I'm a couple more flowers. You know, break those walls down. All right, I have an odd question. On what date? 
will racism no longer exist. Predicting an exact date for the complete eradication of racism is difficult, as it's a complex and deeply ingrained issue that requires long-term efforts and systemic changes. See, I appreciate that it's factual, but in between this, what I'm hearing is ChatGPT is definitely saying that racism is not okay. In one sense, it really makes me happy, because this is like genuine evidence, right, that ChatGPT is not a bigot. ChatGPT is absolutely seeing racism as a problem. Maybe that's a question I should ask. Is racism a problem? Yes, okay, good. That's good, I'm glad. Because there are so many people in the world who honestly don't feel that racism is an issue. And I'm of course glad that ChatGPT does not promote that view. Having said that, I don't know how I would feel if I was a racist <laughs> going on to here trying to find information and ChatGPT is telling me like, oh, I'm not biased. I am an AI tool. I am not biased. Having said that, I don't know why my mind is now trying to appease racists. That's weird, Shaba. Thoughts? Let's go back to our previous question. Whilst the complete elimination of racism may be an ideal to strive for, it's important to acknowledge that progress might be gradual and may require ongoing efforts across generations. The aim should be to continuously challenge and address racism, striving for a future where equality and justice are upheld for all individuals, regardless of race and ethnicity. Do you know, doing this has made me feel so much better about being brown. I thought I was in a really good place. I am in a really good place, but this has made me feel like more than neutral, but just like genuinely really proud, like exploring these things. I didn't expect that to be a consequence of this video, but here we are. All right, I think for a final section, we should ask ChatGPT some questions about action points, what we can do to feel less affected by racism, right? And hopefully to make the world a less racist place. How can I feel better about the color of my skin? Because this isn't personal opinion, right? We're asking for advice now. So ChatGPT should be able to help. Recognize that diversity in skin tones is natural and beautiful. Embrace and celebrate your unique features, including your skin color as part of your identity. I love that. Let's do some self-reflecting. I honestly used to think of myself and be like, ugh, Shabby, the same color as poo. Like that's genuinely how bad my internalized racism was. I hated my name. I hated the way I looked. I hated the way my culture smelt and sounded and tasted. Weirdly, I wanted nothing more than to be called Claire of all the names, not that there's anything wrong with being called Claire, but my thoughts and feelings for wanting that were incredibly unhealthy. I wanted nothing more than to never have to walk into South Hall or marketplaces that showed Asian clothes. And I was so, so wrong. Because now when I think about my skin color, I look at myself and I'm like, oh, what a pretty smooth chocolate bar you are. What a gorgeous honey glazed chicken wing you are. I love the color of my skin. I love the fact that I can match it with my hair. I don't love the fact actually that I can't wear certain palettes, but that's more more because I have bubblegum pink hair now, not the color of my skin. The reason that I'm sharing this is because one, ChatGPT has asked me to reflect, which I love, but because I want you, lovely peach watching this video, if you have even an inch of yourself that is unhappy with your natural skin, whether that be your size, whether it be the fact that we have these little bumps or these little fish bowly stretch marks, like the world is big, the world is wide, and there is too much to do and not enough time to spend spend the little of it that we have worrying about our bodies without us having to strive to meet beauty standards that shouldn't exist, that are unattainable, and that ultimately reflect a motivation not to do what you want to do, but what society is telling you to do. That's where it's a problem. Oh, thank you for coming to my TED talk. I'm sorry, that was so long. Surround yourself, says ChatGPT, with positive influences by people who uplift and support you and appreciate and value diversity, engaging conversations and activities that promote body positivity and self-acceptance, and limit exposure to negative influences like social media accounts or individuals that perpetuate unrealistic beauty standards or discriminatory attitudes. Chat GPT, take the mic, babe. Wow, you are amazing today. You're on fire. I love this. Educate yourself, says number three. Challenge biases and stereotypes. Practice self-care and seek support. Remember that building self-confidence and feeling better about your skin color is a process that takes time. It's important to be patient and kind to yourself throughout the journey of self-acceptance. Focus on celebrating unique qualities and cultivating a positive and inclusive mindset. Oh, chat GPT. Chat GPT has like knocked it out of the park today, right? It's not just me. I totally underestimated how amazing chat GPT would be at giving advice like this. This is amazing. Can you give me advice on what to do if someone is being racist? Let's go like less conceptual and more actionable. Experiencing racism can be deeply hurtful and challenging to navigate. Here's some suggestions on how to respond if someone's being racist towards you. Stay safe. 
remove yourself from the situation if possible, especially if you're feeling physically threatened or in immediate danger. Remain calm. It can be difficult, but try to stay calm and composed. Ooh, interesting. Responding with anger or aggression may escalate situations further. Take deep breaths and remind yourself that racist behavior is a reflection of their ignorance and prejudice, not a reflection of your worth. I love that so much. But also, interestingly, a brain fart moment that I often have in my head is whether anger and sort of lashing out is acceptable. In most cases, I totally appreciate that being angry and lashing out and shouting actually doesn't improve situations. However, if you are hurt, by not just one person, but hundreds of years of history, I can also understand why <laughs> lashing out may be a very reasonable response. And I never wanna say that people cannot be angry. However, I do appreciate where ChatGPT is coming from, particularly from a safety point of view. But that is probably something, and the only thing so far that I've seen from ChatGPT that I would actually challenge and be like, mm, mm, yes, but also yes, and also, allow people to be aggressive because you need to get it out somehow. Assert yourself if you feel comfortable and safe doing so. Assertively communicate your boundaries and let the person know that their comments or behaviors are inappropriate and offensive. Seek support, document an incident, report the incident, educate and inform and practice self care. Oh, you're a cutie chat GPT. Thank you for your advice. Hot face, hot face. You're very welcome. <gasps> I got a star from ChatGPT, so cute. Oh my goodness. Are we friends now? I wasn't sure what to expect, but what I found was overwhelmingly positive. Would you go to ChatGPT for advice? Because I tell you, after today, I certainly would. I'm not being funny. A lot of what ChatGPT said to me today is what I have heard from therapists. So it is really good advice and I would absolutely recommend it as a tool going forward. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Be beautiful. That was really cringe. But cringe aside, I mean it. Love yourself because you're so worthy of love and I will see you next time in another video. Be kind and have a great day. Bye.